Town Hall 16 is the new Clash of Clans update. Let's show you gameplay alongside explaining the new troop, spell, defense, and building levels. This is only sneak peek number one, but let's begin by upgrading to Town Hall 16. It will cost you 20 million gold. It is a 14 day upgrade time, but that is less than what Town Hall 15 was. You will see later there are lots of cost and time reductions coming across the game. Here on the developer build, let's use gems to upgrade to the brand new Nature Town Hall 16. It does only have the one level at the moment. The Giga Inferno mimics the stats at Town Hall 15. It just looks way more epic for Town Hall 16. The nature theme of the new Town Hall is apparent across all of the new building and defense levels, which everything on this screen is getting an upgrade. So let's go through them. The heroes are already boosted thanks to the Town Hall upgrade, which nicely demonstrates their new level. Each one of the heroes getting an extra five levels at Town Hall 16. Moving on to the defenses, the air defense can be upgraded to level 14. This gives an extra 100 hit points and 60 damage per second. Remember, you have four of these around your base. A little bit of a giveaway, but we will get another balloon level. I will be moving on to all of the new troop levels momentarily. This one is 15 days to upgrade, 20 and a half million gold, but this does not count for any of the gold pass perks. Moving on, probably the strongest defense that gets an upgrade for Town Hall 16 is the Expo. This one being 21 million gold, 15 days to upgrade, which gives you an extra 200 hit points and 20 damage per second. Aesthetically, again, it turns red to match the nature theme. These are the two defensive upgrades I would go with first to give you the best advantage on defense, followed by the wizard tower to level 16. 150 extra hit points, 7 extra DPS, over 20 million gold, 14 and a half days. But again, upgrade time times being less than what they were at Town Hall 15. It's a shame the wizard is looking the wrong way, but Showtime. I really like the design of the wizard tower. It's one of my favorite designs for the defenses. The next two, I would probably upgrade the bomb tower first, actually, if I was you. This gives you an extra 200 hit points, 10 DPS, and 50 damage when destroyed. Definitely helpful if you are trying to defend the super archer blimp attacks and limiting where people can drop. That is what your new level 11 bomb tower will look like. And finally, the mortar switches from the magic theme. You can also have a glimpse at the new walls. I was going to show you those momentarily, but there they are. As per the other defenses, an incremental increase in hit points and damage. Those are your five defenses getting new levels for Town Hall 16. We also then do have the giant bomb, which is obviously a little bit cheaper and quicker being a trap. The air bomb gets upgraded to level 11 as well well. Really just the color of the bomb underneath that is different. Followed by finally the small bomb and again you have numerous of these around your base in order to upgrade. I guess you could class the walls as a defense as well. They continue to get more expensive with every town hall level so without gold pass perks it will be nine million gold or elixir for one piece of wall. Let's see, once I get to my Gemming Town Hall 16 video, how many of these I get through. I'm sure they will have some special offers in the shop to help me, which if you are purchasing any, remember you can press the C in the top right to support a creator before purchases. My code is JUDO and it is much appreciated. Do not forget, all of your storages will get new levels. It's a tricky one because if you are using magic items, you probably do want to upgrade these as a high priority to get the best value. Value. But whilst they are cheaper to upgrade only seven and a half million, they still take over 12 days. So you don't really want all of your builders caught up on storages. And whilst it doesn't give you the best value for your book of building, since some of the upgrades are two days longer, it might be worth the trade-off depending on what offers are in the shop. The Dark Elixir storage also gets upgraded, allowing us to carry an extra 10,000 Dark Elixir. This one being a little bit more expensive since it is the only 
only storage of this type. Your new maximum, once you've upgraded all of these, will be 23 million gold and elixir, 380,000 dark elixir. On to the three building upgrades. The first one, which I'm sure you would have guessed, is the laboratory. Aesthetically, this is probably my favorite. But needless to say, as with any town hall upgrade, this should be top of your priority list. I would definitely use your book of building on this one, because with the town hall boost, you get access to all of the new maximum troop levels. The barracks also gets upgraded for 16 million elixir, and whilst I would love to show you what is inside this, you will have to wait for a future sneak peek, so be sure to subscribe to the channel to see that. We do only have a small percentage of viewers subscribed to the channel, so I'd obviously recommend doing so if you enjoy my content. The pet house also gets upgraded, but again, unfortunately, you will have to wait for a future sneak peek to see what is inside those. But aesthetically, that is what they look like. Maybe you can let me know your guesses. Inside the lab, there are numerous upgrades. With the town hall boost, you will have access to all of these for the five days that it is active, and obviously, if you were to use a power potion. Let's quickly go through them in order, and I will give you a bit of a guide as to what I recommend upgrading. The Barbarian to level 12 is quite a good upgrade, because remember, the Barbarians spawned from your king ability will mimic the level in the lab, but also any of you super barbarian attackers, remember super troops also mimic the level in the laboratory. For the same reason, if you do like those super archer attacks, level 11 is no longer the maximum. Only once you've upgraded the archer will you then have access to the level 12 super archer as well. Now I know you might be thinking, gosh there's so many new upgrades, how do I keep up? There will be massive cost and time reductions across lots of town hall levels. I'm not going to go over all of these. However, they typically release them all on the Clash of Clans website. And also my friend Ninja from Clash.Ninja has compiled all of the discounts. And to give you an example, just the upgrades on your village, Town Hall 9 is two weeks quicker. Town Hall 10 is a month quicker. And Town Hall 11 and 12 are two months quicker than they previously were. All of these discounts also happen within the laboratory with all of the costs, making the game cheaper to get to this end level. And that is something they always do when new town halls are released. The giant, not one that will be high on my priority list for upgrades. Whilst the wall breaker gets a new level, if you do use the super wall breakers, you don't have to upgrade this to level 12 immediately because the level 11 wall breaker will still break the new maximum level. The balloon though is definitely a troop I would upgrade high on the priority list. Not only do they look good, they get extra hit points, DPS and damage when destroyed. This will be useful whether you are doing a queen charge attack because the healers also get a new level. I do think the queen charges will make a return at Town Hall 16. The extra healing doesn't look like much, but it's certainly helpful, especially when you do have multiple healers. What I was going to mention on the balloon front as well though is that there are numerous dragon levels for air attackers. So the regular dragon with its green nature theme despite it looking like the level one dragon gets an extra 300 hit points and 20 DPS. I'm not reading out every single upgrade cost and time but obviously you've been able to see those as I'm moving through the upgrades. The wizard gets a new level personally not one that I am going to upgrade immediately. You might decide to if you like the Fireball. super wizard attacks and as good as the pekka looks at level 11 again <sighs> she might end up being one of the last upgrades that I do. There's just better options at Town Hall 16. I am normally a hybrid style attacker, so I will upgrade the miner before a lot of the others. You can see the leaves on the helmet. Again, all of the troops matching the nature theme. But before I upgrade the miner, these two troops are probably my first choice. The Electro Dragon to level seven, an extra 200 hit points, 30 DPS and 60 damage 
when destroyed. It is a lot of people's favorite troop. I believe it will be very powerful at Town Hall 16. So this is most likely one of your main priorities to upgrade. It all depends on which magic items you do and don't have access to, but the Book of Fighting I would use on the Electro Dragon since it is one of those longer upgrades as well. To be honest though, once you get higher up in the levels, they are much of a muchness. Roughly the same cost and upgrade time, the Dragon Rider getting upgraded to level 4. This was one of my favorite troops at Town Hall 14. 300 extra hit points, 30 DPS, and 100 damage when destroyed. Just like the Electro Dragon, I feel the Dragon Rider will be very popular at Town Hall 16. The Lightning Spell might not seem like much, but when you think about the upgrades that we have had, we had the Expo upgraded, no scatter shot, no Inferno Tower, so the Lightning Spells might come back into play. We will have to see how the base meta adjusts because there are some nerfs coming up and one of them impacts the Rage Tower. Let's knock out the rest of these upgrades first though. The Healing Spell, based on your strategy, it could very well be one of those top priorities if you're more of a Hog Rider or Hybrid style attacker. A lot of the meta we've seen at Town Hall 15 didn't really utilize the Healing Spell though. So this one probably will come down a little bit more to what strategy you prefer to use. The Poison Spell, I tend to take in my own clan castle and more than likely you will get that higher level. So I'm going to leave this one until pretty late on to be honest with you. But if you don't have that perk, it is something that will help you in pretty much every attack. The Recall Spell, again, pretty situational, but if you do like the Recall Super Bowler attack as I do, this allows you to recall an extra six capacity, now equaling a total of 107. Still only going to allow you to recall the queen, four healers, and the pet. Dark Elixir troop-wise, we have the Valkyrie going up to level 11. Much like the P.E.K.K.A., probably not going to be one of my first upgrades, although I do think she is better at Town Hall 16. The Witch, always a fun troop to use in my opinion, so probably will be one that I upgrade after the stronger troops of this level. And then finally, we have the Gold to level 13. This is something that I probably will upgrade, not because I think it is the best golem appearance we've had in quite some time, but the golem is just used so often in tanking for your barbarian king that it opens up a lot more flexibility for clan war attacks. Now, I did mention there was something in this sneak peek that I think is a huge improvement. Firstly, though, just know there are a lot of balance changes coming to Town Hall 15. Noticeably, the rage tower getting nerfed in its radius and damage boost and the town hall poison is decreased in damage and the length of time it is active from 16 to 12 seconds so that will make a huge difference remember those are the stats that are also mimicked in the new town hall 16 giga inferno so it actually won't be as dangerous as what town hall 15 was and it doesn't have its own signature weapon however i have been a big advocate for this for a long time but now when you post a friendly challenge you yourself will see the attack button judo sloth from subscribe versus judo sloth from subscribe now you can practice against your own layouts to your heart's content such a good quality of life change now with regards to tomorrow's sneak peek we are left with this what about town hall 16's signature defense do town hall 16 players get a new defense well stay tuned until tomorrow as we'll reveal exactly that i bet you cannot wait i know i cannot be sure to check out when i beat clash of clans with a broken base i will see you in tomorrow's sneak peek video.